Focus phone. Right, time for to feed Sammy and the little ones. Um, and I did throw in a little bit of octopus here and there, and they went a little bit crazy for it. So I'm gonna feed them some more octopus. Mm. Yuck. Here we go, let's feed them. Oh, I'm getting octopus all over my phone. <laughs> The hand I used to put the octopus in is the hand I used to press the record button and so on. And I've got octopus all over me phone. It's gonna smell. Makes a change though, it normally smells like fish. Mind you, that smells a bit like fish. Ugh, sort of. Right, let's give them some octopi. Let's give them that bit of all the suckers on it. Yep, John Snow likes octopus. Oh, why well, not? You missed it. <laughs> That's a problem when you've got. Jeez! That's, that was a pretty big bit. How do you fit that in your mouth? That's a problem with one eye because he, sometimes he goes for stuff, but he misses it because um, he's got an eye missing. So I got plenty, plenty of bits. Oh come on, John Snow. Here you go. That was a big bit as well, and he's only left a little bit on the floor. What's John Snow like? He's got to have everything. Yeah, go on when I go on. I've backed off. I had a feeling they'd like this because I chucked a few bits in the other day. And Sammy, unfortunately I wasn't filming at the time, and Sammy ate one and a half chunks really quick before anybody else to get, could get to it. So that's good. That's the hardest thing I find when you've got more than one prana in a tank is making sure they all get something to eat. You kind of got to overfeed it a little bit and make make the water dirty a lot of the time. Just so you make sure that the ones that ain't, ain't sort of dominant, that they get food as well. Plus when you got a piranha on their own, you if you do go away for a few days, it's not the end of the world if they haven't had nothing to eat. If they're on their own, obviously if they're in a group, you might come back to a bloodbath. It's much easier to control one prana. That minimum advice, that, that internet advice you get, like a minimum of four for Pygocentris, it, it's really not as simple as that. It, it, I mean, four adults, you can need a huge tank. And what do you get? Do you get boys and girls, the mixture? It can be a bloodbath. You don't know what you're getting. It's hard to tell what you've got until it's too late. I always think it's if you want a piranha, if you want piranha, I'd have one. One in a tank. Or if you've got a big tank, you can have one with a barrier and then another one on the other side. That way you could have like a Sarasaramus, a black piranha or something like that. Well, at least one eye's had some. I'm not too worried about... Here comes John Snow again. Yeah, I'm not too worried about Sammy because he, he had quite a bit of octopus the other day. Oh. Go on, one eye. You haven't had much. You must be hungry. I will need another tank about this size soon. 
which I will probably put Jon Snow in because he's a specimen although it means splitting these two up um, they've been together since they were tiny but I tell you if it wasn't for Sammy in here breaking up the fights and chasing them around who knows what would have happened in this time um, so yeah if I do when I do get another tank I'm pretty sure it would be Jon Snow that go in there on his own and one eye and Sammy can be together I think that's the best way to do it anyway I shall leave those bits in there there's only a, like, there's a bit there and there's a bit around there that'll be gone in no time I'm not too worried about Sammy because like I said because he's had some the other day some octopus it's good 